Hi there. Here's a short topic video looking at the distinction between a depreciation of the exchange rate and a devaluation of a currency. A depreciation of a currency happens inside a floating or managed floating system. So, for example, the market forces of currency supply and demand could lead to a fall in the external value of a currency. And depreciation might also come about if the central bank of a country changes interest rates or intervenes directly in the currency markets to bring about a lower value of the currency. Two examples of uh, depreciation that are useful. Sterling depreciated by more than 20% in the immediate aftermath of the, the global financial crisis. The Zambian Kwacha, country heavily dependent on copper exports, has depreciated or fallen by more than 50% over the last two years as the value of Zambian exports has fallen. Here's an example of a currency depreciation. The euro floats against the US dollar and in 2014 one euro would have bought you $1.40 but by March 2015 one euro would have only bought $1.10. In other words in this example the euro has depreciated against the dollar but the US dollar has appreciated against the euro. A devaluation happens inside a fixed or a semi-fixed exchange rate system. What happens is that the central bank changes the official rate or the official peg at which currency trading takes place. And it's similar to a depreciation. In other words, we're talking about a fall in the value of the exchange rate, fall in the external value of a currency. In a fixed exchange rate system, this devaluation could be enforced, by example, uh, by intervention by the central bank if needed. Two good examples of currency devaluation. China devalued their currency against the US dollar in the summer of 2015. And in March 2016, Egypt, North African country, uh, devalued their currency against the US dollar. A devaluation that's deliberately aiming at improving a country's net trade performance is called a competitive devaluation. And here's the example of the Chinese devaluation against the US dollar. You can see that in August 2015, the yuan renminbi dollar exchange rate fell from 620 to 640. In other words, one dollar previously would have bought one, uh, six yuan 20. Now it buys six yuan 40. The dollar has appreciated. It's been revalued against the yuan. The yuan has been devalued against the US dollar. That's the difference between a depreciation and a devaluation.